In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to deselect a field with a highlight action. So in this example you'll see here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be able to click on a region and it's going to sort that region to the bar, but it's also going to deselect that region. So you see normally what will happen is this field will also be selected. So let me show you what I mean. So this is the typical action. So you click on a cell and it keeps it highlighted. What I wanted to be able to do is what I showed you earlier. And that's go ahead. That means uh, go ahead and make sure that all of these uh, or nothing is highlighted once you click on something. So let's go ahead and see if we can build that view. Okay, so let's start with something pretty simple. So if we go back to the previous example, it looks like we have order date by quarter. So let's look at uh, sales by quarter. And we have it split up by region as a bar chart. I'm going to make it fit entire view. And then I want to go ahead and add a table calculation. And I want to do it as a percent of total. And I want to do it um, table down. And there we go, right? So now we have our nice little percentages. Now what I want to be able to do is when I click on a bar, I want that region to sort to the bottom. So to do that, we're going to first need to create a set action. So I'm going to right click, click on my region field and create a set. And I'm going to call this my region set. Let's start by choosing maybe the south. Doesn't really, you don't really have to do that. So what I want to do now is I want to say sales for selected region. And I'm going to say if region set, then sales end. So I only want to return the sales for that region. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and now I can sort my region field based on that value. So let's do it by the field descending. Uh, and I want to, let's see, I want to make it based on not sales, but the sales for selected region. And uh, I need to do it ascending, sorry, because I want south at the bottom. So you can see we now have south at the bottom of the view. And if I add a, uh, a set action, so add action, change set values, I'm going to say update region set. And I want to do it uh, on a single select only. And the set I want to update is my region set. And when they deselect, I'm just going to go ahead and keep the value. So I'm going to leave it at that sort order. So for example, now if I click on the east, we should see the orange bar go to the bottom. But notice how it's highlighted. What we want to do is we want to get rid of that highlighting. So to do that, I'm just going to create a dummy field. And I'm going to call it dummy. And I'll put my name in there for the heck of it. You can put whatever you want in that calculation. I'm going to move the dummy field to the detail shelf. And now the trick is I'm going to put a highlight action on that field. So I'm going to add a highlight action. And I'm going to say highlight dummy. And I want to do it on select. But I want to do it on a specific field. And all I want to target is the dummy field. So hit OK twice. And now if I click the south, notice how the bar is still highlighted a bit, but at least uh, everything else isn't grayed out. So I can click on any of these bars. It'll sort that bar to the bottom with the set action. And then my highlight action is going to have it deselect the value. So let's look at another example of that. So let's say that we want to uh, look at sales by quarter. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a custom date. And I'm going to call it my quarters or quarter. And I'm going to make it based on my quarters as a date value. So a date value will be uh, the year and the quarter, so a continuous quarter. Whereas if I do date parts, it would just be Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, your discrete quarters. So I'm going to drag that up to the columns. And I'm going to put sales onto the rows. OK, so now what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to click on a mark. So let's say 2017 Q4 and I want it to adjust uh, or make that so that all of the other quarters compare to the one I just selected. So first I need to go ahead and create a set based on my quarter. So I'm going to call this my quarter set and let's start by picking one of them. Let's just pick 2018 Q1. doesn't really matter. OK.
And now what I want to do is uh, I want to go ahead and return the sales for that set that was picked. So uh, let's call this sales for selected quarter. And I'm going to say if it's my quarter set. So if it's the item in the set, then sales end. All right. And that's going to give me the sales for the selected quarter. So, but let me show you what happens. If I go ahead and I put this on the row shelf, notice how I just get one dot here. I want to be able to compare this dot. Uh, uh, I want to be able to, for example, compare this mark here, this 2016 Q4 to this dot. But in order to do that, I need to have this dot over with this quarter as well. So I need to change this to a level of detail expression. So I just want to say, uh, I want to get the sum of everything in that quarter. So notice how I didn't put um, a keyword fixed include or exclude. If I just do a mustachio, uh, then it implies kind of the overall sum. So this is going to give me the total sales for the quarter that they selected. And notice now I get this single straight line. So I like building it up with multiple fields so that I can I can kind of make sure the calculation is working on the way. So the next thing I want to do is I want to say um, I'm going to say variance to selected quarter, uh, if I could spell right. And in this case, I'm going to say the sum of the sales minus the sum of the sales for the selected quarter. I'm going to wrap that whole thing in parentheses, and I'm going to divide by my sales for my selected quarter, because I want to look at the percent variance. So let's hit OK, and let's put that on the row shelf. All right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove this one. And notice how right now, my what, what quarter do I have selected? So right now I have uh, 2018 Q1 selected, so my variance is zero because I'm comparing it to itself. And then if I go over here, I can see the variance is 93%. So I'm going to go ahead and format that field. So default properties, number format, and I'm just going to make it a percentage to zero decimals, but I want to also have it so that um, uh, I can have a plus on the positive side and a minus on the negative side. So notice how it says plus and minus. All right, so what we need to do now is we need to turn on a set action because we want to be able to update the quarter based on the one that they pick. So let's add an action. And let's change set values. Oops, wrong field there. Let's change set values. Let's call this uh, update quarter set. And I, again, I want to do it on a single select. And I want to go ahead and keep the set values. And my target set is my quarter set. Hit OK. Hit OK again. And now if I click on a mark, let's say this one here. Notice that one stays at 0 and everything else becomes uh, relative to that mark. So I have it working the way I want now, so I'm just going to go ahead and put sales on the detail shelf because I want that in my um, in my tooltip. And uh, what I could do now is to kind of show you the way this works is let's have a bar and then let's click on one of these bars and notice how everything else is grayed out. So I click on this one, all the other things are grayed out. So this is where our dummy field is going to come in handy again. So I'm going to put dummy on the detail shelf. And I'm going to add a highlight action for the dummy field. So highlight dummy. And I want to do that on select. And then my target field has to be just the dummy field. Hit OK. Hit OK again. And now when I click on one, nothing is highlighted. Now we do have a light gray border around these cells. That's because dummy is on the detail shelf. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my color shelf and remove my borders. Uh, and then maybe I'll make this uh, con uh, discrete quarters. So if I click on something now, everything updates. It looks nice and neat. And uh, I think the last thing I'm going to do is just color code these bars. So uh, I'm just going to call this uh, variance color. And all I'm going to say is variance to the selected quarter is bigger than zero. That's going to give me a true false. Put that on the color shelf. And let's go ahead and adjust the color. So I'm going to say false, meaning it's negative, and then true. Maybe I'll make that one blue. And there we go. So now I click on this quarter, and I can see the variance to all of those. 
All right, so um, hopefully you found that helpful. And again, you know, you just you, I'm just using the uh, the dummy field with a highlight action to deselect the marks in the view. Okay, that's it. Hope you have a good day.